Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Enchanted Oasis. We are on episode number 22. My name is Cupquake and today is Sorcery Sunday, which means BAM! Base cam! And we are going to play some Minecraft. Uh, I am actually I uh, in between between this episode. I live streamed, we streamed for an hour. We didn't do anything too, too crazy and we didn't do anything uh, that, well, it was only an hour. So I actually wanted to make a farm for our clay because I needed some more clay jars for the witchery mod because all of the potions that we make and everything. So we actually went ahead. I'll show you guys some highlights right now. Uh, let's actually go ahead and just play the highlights. So let's see if the silk touch will really work. Let's just test it out. Hey, there's a chest right here. I'm just gonna block you out of my life. I'm blocking you out of my life. I'm building up walls. I'm blocking you out of my life. God, we already got a lot, all the- Oh! Oh! No! Oh. He just turned the corner and was like, I'm going to ruin your trap. Navi's here to help. Look at this jerk creeper. Navi's here to help. Navi's here to help. Okay, help me out. Yeah. Help me out here. <laughs> Navi looks funny in the live stream. Like, Navi, Navi, Navi. Oh, I just oh, wanted no. to extend it. It doesn't do anything. Well, you're kidding me, you stupid golem. So I didn't completely make the farm that I wanted. It was just a stream full of fails, but we worked through together and I actually had gotten some clay from that. I am burning the clay and made some clay jars. So now we have a bunch of clay jars for our witchery, our, our, our craft since we're learning the craft so I can go ahead and put them right in here we're gonna need a lot of them that's why I just went ahead and just made the little golem farm that we did it's not even a farm now it's just like a kill zone a golem kill zone so I think I was gonna go ahead and place uh, let's go ahead and place some some saplings in here uh, I'm gonna just put some oak saplings and we're gonna get what we can so um Today is Sorcery Sunday. What I need to do is I need to collect some more alder saplings because there is something that I really want to do. Uh, so one of my goals, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to it today, but I really, really, really want... Wait a minute. Okay, you know what? I forgot to take this away. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and get this out. There we go. And you know what? I noticed something. You need this more than I do. Smiley face. LD Shadow Lady. Hearts. Let's see. She gave us a gift. What did she give us? Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. So she gave us the dead, the peacock. The peacock butterfly. I have been searching so long for this peacock butterfly. Uh, actually, we ran into it on the stream. I found it. They live actually back here in my backyard. And uh, we saw one during the stream and uh, we saw it for a split second. I couldn't grab my freaking uh, butterfly catcher fast enough. And um, it flew away, the one that got away. So I'm definitely, I have to give a gift to LD Shadow Lady and we have to give a gift to uh, Annie. Vengelf, they have given us gifts, and we can also give a gift to Mitty. It's been a while. I feel like I haven't seen them on the server for a while, but we are... Where did it go? Where did it go? I just had it. Where the heck? Okay, okay. 
I'm gonna have to review this footage. Where did the butterfly go? I swear, I just put it in my inventory. I, I put it there. Oh gosh, I'm forgetting things. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and craft ourselves the butterfly encyclopedia. We've been wanting to do this for a really, really long time. Let me just go ahead and look up the recipe. Butterfly encyclopedia. So we need an ink sack, a feather, and a book. So I'm sure we have a feather. We have an ink sack and a book. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and craft this baby. Um, white, orange, red, yellow, green, red. Okay, so let's do that. Red, yellow, green, red, white, orange, red. That is actually a really good way to memorize stuff because I am terrible at memorizing things. Yay! We have the encyclopedia. Yes! Okay, so it has information on all of the butterflies that we've actually caught. So four out of 60 butterflies. So I've caught all of these butterflies and then it just goes ahead and tells us where we can find these butterflies. So these ones, the Tawny Coster is extreme hills, forest, forest hills and plains and spawning blocks, grass, tall glass, feeds on red roses, dandelions, and tall grass, attracted to red roses and dandelions, flying slow speed. So we have a bunch, a bunch of butterflies that we still haven't caught. What is all this information down here? Legend. So there's butterflies. There's green that are very common, yellow that are common, orange that are rare, or orange that are uncommon, red that is rare, uh, purple is epic, extinct, an event, what, I don't even know. So they have, they spawn, different butterflies spawn in the daytime, different butterflies spawn at nighttime. They have the speed of the butterfly, this is awesome. A 95% chance to flee 20 blocks away from the player, my god. That is crazy. Sneaking decreases ER by half, so escape rate by half. That's good to know. You still got 136 butterfly species left to catch. That is insane. So this is really, really cool. Oh, look. So it has all the information on the butterflies. And uh, uh, so actually, let's look up some information on... I want to look up information on the um, the peacock. Actually, I don't have information on the peacock because I haven't caught one. Some of you guys were saying that you saw the peacock butterfly in my butterfly garden. That's a lie. Because you didn't see it. I didn't catch one. Okay, so we now have this. So whenever we catch butterflies, we can learn where to find them and actually if we have a dead butterfly already if we capture a butterfly uh we can actually use let's see what is it called a magnifying glass so let's search it magnifying glass so we can actually create this and then that is used to create something else let's actually go ahead and type in what is it used to find or what is it used for I know it's used for something I'll have to check up what it's used for but we have a freaking encyclopedia yay thank you Lizzie everyone head over to Lizzie's channel and thank her for the peacock butterfly I've been looking for that for like ages it's oh oh also in the stream I forgot I uh, went to see if the silk touch actually worked uh, on monster spawners but they don't so I got rid of the spider spawner. Let's go ahead and grab this amber. I need to put a piece of block right over that. Our butterfly garden is coming along so pretty. And we have a bunch of um, glowstone to light up the way. I need to go back into the nether and find some more glowstone. We're going to need some glowstone for today. We're going to do some magic today. Sorcery Sunday. So I am super duper excited. We now have our encyclopedia. So I'm gonna have to double check. I didn't look up, unfortunately, didn't look up the uh, butterfly mod right before I started filming. So I kind of forgot <laughs> some of the stuff. All right, so 
uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we've created. Let's go over to where I have the spawner. I just want to show you guys what I've done since we've last seen saw each other, seen saw whatever. Um, so we failed at making the iron or the clay golem uh, farm because clay is really really important for the witchery mod we need a lot of lot of, a lot of clay so just turn this little area into uh, a clay golem kill zone so we can actually kill the clay golems from here if we like the water is pushing them towards us so we can kill them i originally tried to do cactus to kill them i tried um you guys were telling me that fall damage doesn't kill them so uh, yeah, it just was a bunch of fail when we did it. And actually, this looks a lot better with the shaders mod on. This is where we sell the peacock. So they spawn in areas like this. So if I do see one, I still have to capture it because I need it to go inside of my encyclopedia. How awesome would it be to catch all of the butterflies? That would be insane. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do today, let's head over to our tree farm our witchery tree farm and I need to get myself some alder saplings so what I really want to do what I've been trying to work towards is to get an owl I really want a familiar owl I don't I mean I have kittens oh you know what else I did I actually got a name tag I found a name tag in the chest right in our butterfly garden and I named our kitten Celesta and decided we're gonna name this other kitten Cosmo so Cosmo and Celesta uh, so those are adorable little kitten names I think they are fantastic let's actually go head over uh, hopefully we don't upset the tree gods if we do it's okay look at all of these flowers that Lizzie put over here it's so cute it looks so adorable um, Okay, so I'm going to go head over and we're going to go get some alder saplings and I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool from the witchery mod. Uh, and then we're going to take this the stuff with us just in case we go traveling. So let's see. Our alder saplings are right down here. Let's go ahead and just kill some of these. Hopefully we don't upset the tree gods. So let's go ahead and get some alder saplings. I need to replant the trees so hopefully we get enough hopefully we get enough to replant some and then have some extra left over and if we do upset the tree gods we'll just kill them again it doesn't look like we did and I think we have enough whoa that's a lot all right cool so let's go ahead and oh no we're gonna put this there we're gonna put this right here just to keep it nice and orderly cool so we just came up on 12 alder saplings awesome all right so i'm gonna show you guys something cool i'm glad the sun just set because we need some zombies and zombies are pretty uh common on this server they come from far and wide to eat our flesh um but yeah i hope you guys are having an awesome weekend sunday uh, I'm recording this earlier so that I can actually have a, a, a small little weekend. You know what I noticed? Our, our diamond sword is really low. So I'm going to do something. We're going to do some, uh, Ars Magica stuff after I get this going, uh, with the alder saplings. I feel like a little nasally right now. So I'm going to apologize for the nasaliness. All right, so what I need is um, I have alder saplings. I'm going to need some string. We're going to have to make some cobwebs. I don't know if I could even craft them, so let's see. So here's a cobweb. How is a cobweb crafted? What? Okay, wait a minute. How am I supposed to craft a cobweb? I... I would think a cobweb is crafted by just putting a bunch of string. What am I going to do about that? Okay, well, let's see. Uh, we may have to go down in the mines, and I will use my pickaxe. It has soft touch on it, so we can we can go get some of that 
cobweb. So let's go down in the mines. It's not too far. Um, but what I'm going to do today is I actually did a lot of research on uh, the Ars Magica mod. And I want to make a little more progress in it. Uh, we are level 20 with our magic. So if I do see any monsters, I'm going to kill them with my magic. Uh, because we can just go ahead and continue leveling it up. Once we reach level 22, then we can start learning some new spells. And I've actually, since looking at Direwolf 20's videos for Ars Magica, um, he does great reviews. I've watched his videos for so long. Let's go ahead and see if this works on this. Oh my gosh, it mines so slowly. How am I supposed to get these? How am I supposed to get these? I don't even know how I'm supposed to make this. Was that? That was a bat. <gasps> what? It didn't even drop it for me. It didn't even drop it. Okay, wait a minute. Are we sure we can't craft the cobweb? Because there's a dense web. I don't want to craft a dense web. I just want a normal co What? Witch hunter pistol crossbow whoa a crossbow that is insanely cool uh okay so i hear some zombies coming about what the heck am i supposed to do i need some cobwebs i don't know how i'm supposed to get the cobweb cobweb no i don't know what to do how am i supposed to get that where do I get this from? I need to look it up. <gasps> look, oh, look, check this out. So I actually went ahead and changed the texture. Look at how cute. Oh my God, did you guys see it? Um, using the texture pack from, um, I just changed the texture for the bat because I thought it was freaking cute. It is um, the candy one. It's like the, the sweet one that I mentioned a couple episodes ago. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I will put it in the description. How adorable is the little bat though? It has a little heart. You are so cute. So this is what I need. I need cobwebs. So I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up real quick. I'll be right back. I usually don't like to have cuts in this, but this is really important. We really need some cobwebs. So I will be our bee. Okay, guys, so I've done a little bit of research as, as well as Red. He's helped me out with this. Uh, and we found on the wiki that it said that you can collect the cobwebs with shears that are enchanted with silk touch. But um, they used to not be able to be obtained. You, they would always drop strings. So I came back home, tried to enchant my shears with silk touch, and I think that... Uh, it's probably the most updated version that you can enchant your shears and collect the co the cobwebs with. Because uh, I can't even enchant the shears. And I am, I'm level 20. So I think it's the newer version of Minecraft. Since we are playing in a 1.6.4 version, we're still a little bit behind because of all the mods that we have. So... I really need cobwebs in order to craft some items. Um, so what I was uh, thinking would be the only fair way to do this since we're playing in an older version is to use my shears to collect the cobwebs. Still taking damage on the shears, uh, but all of the string that I have in my inventory, uh, minus 10, will be... Um, I will switch it out in creative mode for cobweb because I really, really need this and it just really sucks how unfortunate it is that I'm playing in a older version of Minecraft that uh, hasn't yet implemented those, uh, I guess, those, those things. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's not, not fully updated. So, uh, I am, ooh, let's go ahead and kill you with, uh, 
this. Oh, also, check it out. So I have been talking about my magic spells don't do enough damage. So I went ahead and checked out Darwolf's video. He explained that, see this little moon down here? You can actually, if you press C, see now how it's a half moon? And now it's back to a crescent moon on the bottom right. So it actually costs more mana, but the spell is more effective. So I will be doing a lot more damage. Where did he go? Where did the skeleton go? We'll be doing a lot more damage. Where the heck? Where did he go? Seriously. I have no idea where he went. But our spells are more effective. Um, oh, there he is. They're more effective with this. Uh, by pressing C. So, they do more damage, cost more mana, but that is what I was talking about, and I was wondering what is going on with my freaking spells. They are so low in uh, damage. Oh, wait, what kind of butterfly is that? Oh, it's going up the... It's going up the... <laughs> you can see him going up the <laughs> waterfall. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our shears. So, like I said before, I'm just going to go ahead... This is, like, stuff that has to be done because we're in a not-so-current version of Minecraft so that we can have the mods that we do have and have them be able to work. So, I think I have... Oh, wait, look. This is my old little crafting area. How cute. All right. So, I think I may have about... Oh, look. We can just go ahead and collect some more right here. It's perfect because the mines always have a lot of cobwebs. So... I'm just going to subtract the 10 uh, string that were already in my inventory and um, go ahead and, oh, wait, I got stuck in a cobweb there. So then we're just going to give ourselves the cobwebs because we, we there's no way, no way for us to get them other than that way. So I know some of you guys may be upset about that, that I'm going to be giving myself some stuff. Where, how do I get out of here? Um, but that's just the way it has to be, just because we have so many mods and I'm in a later version and there's updates that I don't have that these mods require. So let's go ahead and head back home. Hope you guys don't really mind it. Um, but yeah, I was really happy when I found out about the crescent moon thing. I was like, no wonder my spells didn't do much damage. That goes for all the spells, not only damage spells, but for my heals too. So if I want to regenerate more, I just press C. I should just keep the C on because I want them to do more. Okay, cool. So let's check out, um, we now have 19. So that means nine. So I'm gonna get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine string. And I'm gonna go ahead and change it to game mode one. We're gonna change into creative mode and I'm gonna check up a cobweb. And we're going to give ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cobwebs in replace for the string. So we're getting rid of those. Cool. So that's all we're doing. Uh, that's all I needed. And it's now nighttime again. So I have no idea why my nose is so nasally and plugged. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but let's go outside and do I have a bucket of water? We need to grab a bucket of water. This is really important for what we want to make. Uh, what I'm, uh, let's get rid of this. And actually let's put this just right here for now. We have a bucket. Let's grab some water and I'm gonna go ahead and put the clay right in there. And you know what? We'll put the rest of our string. I think I have some string in here somewhere. Okay, cool. So that's that's what I'm gonna have to do for the cobwebs if I need any more cobwebs because you just, it's impossible to mine. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and make it right here. Let me grab my shovel. Let's grab this. Get back, get back, get back. Stay back, stay back, further back, further back. All right, so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kite this guy. And actually, I need to go grab some water. So what I'm striving to make this episode are something called critter snares. And the reason why I want a critter snare is because of that's the way that we get wolves. We have to we have to capture bats. 
So here's a little zombie right here. Let's go ahead and set this water right down there. And we're gonna put some alder saplings right around here. And then we're gonna grab our um, web. And hopefully let's, actually before I do this, we need to hit it with a, what is it called? Let's go ahead and press G and search our mutated sprig. So check this out. I need a mutating sprig, which is the ent twig that we collected from the ent and mutandus extremis, which is just mutandus with a nether wart in the center. So I do have mutandus. I have nine. Perfect. So let's go ahead. I'm going to keep this zombie here at bay because we're going to we're going to use him. So let's go get some nether wart and surround it with the mutandus extremis or the mutandus and then we will get mutandus extremis and then I will surround that um oh I should actually replant that let's go ahead and do that cool boom okay so let's now craft this I need to move my little backpack away it's just here in the center all right so we're gonna put that there and we're gonna put this all around and it's gonna give us eight mutandus and then all I need to do is grab is it is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go grab our ant twig. And we're going to make this, uh, I don't know what exactly it's called. Oh, you can't come in here. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right, so let's grab our ant twig. We're going to go to this crafting table and surround it by the mutandus extremis. There and there. So now we have a mutating sprig. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put this away since we don't need it. And um, come on. Oh, let me get out of here, zombie. Let me. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Come on. Come on over here. So we're going to kite this little zombie. We're going to kite him into. Oh, my kitten's right here. Look at her. All right. So he is now in the cobweb. Let's go ahead and click. And we have ourselves some critter snares. Why is Celesta here? Celesta? You know what? We can leave Celesta out here. We can have her uh, hang out. Let's see. We'll have her hang out right here. I went ahead and put some um, of the moss right here to grow. So I think we now actually have 905. Cool. We don't have anything on the altar. The moss is going to spread and it's going to give it more power. So where's my kitty cat? Here you are. Let's go ahead and have you sit down. Sit down right there, Celesta. You're going to stay out here so we don't get any creepers near our stuff. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and collect these critter snares. I actually want to make more. So I want to put down uh, some more alder saplings. I uh, want to collect more because these little critter snares are going to collect some bats. So we're going to put that right there. And uh, let's see if we get any zombies. Do we have? Oh, look, there's a creeper right there. <laughs> see if we get any zombies around us. Usually zombies come from. Oh, look, there's a bunch of them right there. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. Oh, I should use my magic. I should use my magic. We can do ma more magic. <gasps> Talk about a lot of zombies. I was <laughs> hoping for just like a couple zombies, but you know what? What? Whatever. That works fine, too. I don't think I'm going to have enough uh, alder saplings for all of these guys. But you know what? We will use as many as we possibly can. And we're going to mutate them with our mutating sprig. And we can capture some bats in these critter snares. And with those bats, we can then go ahead and make ourselves. Hey, you are in there. Well, bam. You're in there. Okay, it's cool. So we have some critter snares. Let's go ahead and just kite them a little bit. Put this down there. So we have four left, which means we can put four more alder saplings down. All right. Oh, no. I need that last one. I need that last alder sapling. Give it to me. Where'd it go? Where's my sapling? You didn't take my sapling, did you? Where the heck is my last sap? He's holding it. Oh, dang it. Okay, wait. I need to kill you. My cat is here, too. Oh, my gosh. Why is she walking around? I didn't even right click her. <sighs> Celesta, you're going to get hurt. Okay, where's the guy with the... 
Zombie with it. Oh my god, it's raining! It is raining! Holy crap. Okay, wait, let's pick up the sapling. No! The stupid guy is attacking me now, too! Okay, now we have our alder sapling. No! Stop it! I'm not trying to hurt you! I'm not trying to hurt you. Just leave leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to bring them over here because... All right, let's go ahead and put this down. Put this right there. Bam. And let's get another one stuck in here so we can get some more of these. Uh, okay, yeah, he's in there. Bam. 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 Yeah! All right, so now I can just go ahead and use my magic to kill these guys. Oh, shoot. I'm out of mana. Okay, guys. It is raining. It is raining. It is raining. And and for those of you guys who know what I'm talking about, I've been talking about doing this for a while. Uh, so I've been waiting. Oh, now you're sitting, Celesta. What's going on? Okay, so let's go ahead. Head in here. It's raining. Uh, I am going to go ahead. We are going to summon our first boss. Let's see if we can actually kill him. I'm going to put some of the stuff away. It's raining. I've been waiting for it to rain for a really, really long time. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. I feel like every time I get on the server, it doesn't rain. And this boss is mandatory for rain. So I already have some stuff in my uh, backpack ready to go. So. Okay, cool. Let's get this started. Hopefully I can actually spawn him because it doesn't show up in my book. Is it still raining? Are you kidding me? I just got really excited for the rain. It was only like a one minute rain. Right when I slept, the rain stopped. What the heck is up with that? Bologna! It just doesn't want me to fight the boss. It doesn't want me to summon. I wanted to summon a water elemental. The water elemental. So actually, if we go to... It should be under essences. So actually, the water essence. We can actually create it ourselves with this stuff. But I need myself some other Ars Magica items. Before I do that, I want to go ahead. Let's grab my critter snares. I'm going to keep them with me because if I see any bats... So here are the critter snares. I'm going to keep my mutating sprig downstairs with me as well. We're going to put it in the witchery. We're going to put it in our witchery spot just in case. Uh, so we have gotten ourselves making some progress. We have a mutating sprig. And I have some critter snares. Okay, so... I'm really sad. I really wanted to spawn the boss. We have a bucket of water, bucket, and our redstone inlay. We can't even do that. All right, so if it rains again, we will uh, try our best to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this little thing here because we're going to use it. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you because you've been attacking me. Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna do some magic on you, sucker. Can I, I can't even hit him. My magic powers. I am. I suck against the wisps. For reals. All right. So let's actually do this. I. Oh, sit down. Sit down. I think my kitties are a little bit glitched out. Just a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do is we are going to search up. We're going to do some more Ars Magica stuff. So I wanted to check a sigil. I already have a sigil for containment, but I did want to make a couple sigils of progeny i have them written down here progeny and butchery so let's check to see how we can make that so we are gonna have butchery Ooh, an evil looking book what the heck is a wooden lay oh we can just craft that really easily easily okay so uh progeny is a lot of eggs a life essence so how do we make a life essence I think I have to craft the life essence. Let's go and look into our arcing compendium and we'll go back. There's essences right here. So a life essence is crafted with two golden apples. That's going to be really expensive. Uh, I don't even know if I have any apples. I don't even know if I have that much gold, but we also need arcane ash and an egg. We also need this little thing right here. Um, uh, 
this is a certain block and I remember looking it up. I think it is called an essence refiner. So let's actually go in. Hey, you need to sit down. You need to sit down. I don't want you to follow me. She's a little bit buggy. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and get into some Ars Magica stuff. We're going to check up an essence refiner so this is exactly what we wanted it requires one diamond which we have some obsidian which we don't have i need to go mine that some arcane ash and some wood but before we get this we're gonna need some energy from our light and dark nexuses so we're gonna finally get into that um i have everything written down right here so if i'm looking down is because there's so much information in this mod i just really needed to write everything down so i need some i have stuff written in order kind of so let's actually go ahead and we're gonna make ourselves a mana battery so if we go ahead and type in mana battery it's right here, crafted with Vintium Dust, Arcane Ash, and Chimerite. So I believe, let's actually check real quick, how is Vintium Dust crafted? How is that crafted? I think it's just by Purified Vintium Dust. Okay, that's not what we wanted. Vintium Ore, okay, wait, no, it's not that one. Let's go ahead and go to the bottom battery. What I need is Arcane Ash. So the Arcane Ash, I think I do have some, but I think it's crafted. Here we go. We need the Arcane Compound, which is made, oof, with the Glowstone, which I don't really have. Let's go upstairs and see if we have any Arcane Compound. See if we can create this. There, we, we definitely need to go back into the Nether and get some Glowstone. Uh, so we're finally going to be able to use my Dark and Light Nexuses. You know what I need to craft is, oh my gosh, I have hiccups again. I have hiccups again. I'm going to go ahead and type in here Ars Magica and it's going to show all of the stuff that we have from Ars Magica. What I'm looking for is I don't remember what it's called, but it's to measure the energy that I have in my thingies. Here it is. A Magitek staff. So we need to go ahead and make one of these. Chimerite, a stick or a bamboo, whatever. How the heck am I supposed to make a bamboo? What? And the mana focus. So mana focus is made with Vintium dust and a standard focus. Standard focus is we need lesser focus. So that requires gold. And let's go ahead and just craft ourselves a bunch of... Wait, did I already craft myself some lesser focuses? No, we don't have any lesser focuses in here. So uh, I need to go ahead and just craft myself some of that. I think I have a lot of gold. Let's check to see how much gold ore we have. We actually only need the gold nuggets. So we have some gold nuggets here and we have glass right in here. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna just craft ourselves this. We're gonna craft ourselves a bunch of lesser ores. Cool. There we go. So we have some lesser or, or lesser focuses, not ores. Okay, so let's put this away. So now that we have our lesser focus, uh, we can, let me just go ahead, go in here and click this. Oh, what? Why did it do that? Let's press E. Okay, so I need a mana focus for this. And for the mana focus, we need a standard focus. But with that, we need to cover our lesser focus with some redstone. So let's actually see. We do have redstone somewhere. I'm going to have to, oh wait, I have another stack right here. So let's make ourselves a couple, mo or are they mono focuses? Standard focuses. Let's make ourselves a couple standard focuses. Perfect. And we're gonna save ourselves these lesser focuses for the later. And once we have those, now we have to cover the standard focus with top and bottom Vintium dust. That's gonna give us a mono focus. All right. So let's go ahead and go upstairs. I know this is a lot of stuff, but ours Magica is so in depth. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. All right, so let's go ahead. Where are my, what? Oh, wait a minute. I think I have this, Vintium Ore. Let's go ahead and smelt this. So I wanna make a couple cool things. As you guys can tell, my sword is actually really low. It's about to break. Um, 
so there is something that we can actually craft uh, to fix that. So let me grab this shimmerite. Let's go ahead and put this in the furnace. Um, okay, so we have some clay bars. Let's put this in the furnace. I'm going to go ahead and just split it up so we can get it smelted as fast as we possibly can. Cool. Okay, we're going to need to get some more coal, too. Uh, all right. So, let's just wait for that. Hey, kitten, why are you walking around? You're supposed to be sitting. You're supposed to be sitting. We're going to get hurt. All right, so we have a couple of Vintium dust already. We can go ahead and cover it top to bottom. I guess this is all the Vintium dust that I have. I'm going to need to save it. Let's just make it down here. So, Lester Focus, Vintium on the top and bottom. Now we have a Mana Focus. I'm going to just save myself a standard focus because uh, you never know when you're going to need one. Okay, so then to get the Magitek Staff, we're going to need Chimerate and a stick. Cool. So we can craft it with a stick. I don't have bamboo or anything. So let's go ahead and get some wood. I have some sticks right here. All right. So it's Chimerate, a stick, and a Mana Focus. So now we have our Magitek Staff, which is used to um, see how much magic we have stored. All right, cool. So now I need to make a mana battery. And I believe, let's see if we have, oops, I just dropped my bread. Let's see if, oh, we have two glowstone. Perfect. Okay, so for a mana battery, let's go ahead and click this. We're going to need an arcane ash. For Vintium and Chimerite. Awesome. I thought that for some reason I needed... I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so we have Vintium Dust. And I hope that I have some Arcane Ash upstairs. Let's keep our fingers... Oh, you know what? Actually, for the Arcane Ash, we need to craft that. Uh, that is done like this. We need Arcane Compound. So we need stone, redstone, glowstone, and netherrack. So let's grab stone, redstone, glowstone, and netherrack. Put the bucket away for now. Let's put that there. Oh my gosh, my inventory is just a mess. I'll put this stuff right here for now. Okay, these are about to break, so hopefully that'll help us out. Okay, so... I believe. Let's check a, take a look at the recipe one more time. Okay, so stone here. Netherrack here. Glowstone right here. And there we go. Arcane compound. So I'm going to need to go back to the nether to collect some more glowstone. But hopefully we can just go ahead and just make this just for this episode to show you guys. And I'm going to leave the, glow, the redstone down here. Okay, so then... The arcing compound needs to go inside of the furnace. So let's grab all of this, put that in the furnace. There we go. We are making some progress. It's a lot of stuff. I know. Just bear with me. This episode isn't really full of magic, but we're or, or, full of uh, action, but we're doing magic today. Okay, so once we have the arcing compound, I'm going to need arcing ash for the essence refiner. And that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, Cal Factor is another thing that I wanted to make. So if we go ahead and search up a recipe for a Cal Factor, it's right here. We also need Vintium Dust, but this needs the battery. So before we do anything, we need the battery. We're probably going to need a battery for every single essence or every single, for each nexus and energy that we have, the light, the neutral, and the dark energy. So Chimerites, Arcane Ash. Let's go ahead and craft this. It should be done. There we go. Arcane Ash. Do we have Chimerite with us? We have Chimerite. We have enough Chimerite. So Chimerite on all four corners. Vintium Dust and Arcane Ash in the center. So. Vintium Dust. Arcane Ash in the center. And Chimerite all along the edges. And we now have ourselves a mana battery yay achievement unlocked and i'm also gonna have to craft myself a lever i completely forgot how to make a lever so it's just a stick and cobblestone please tell me i have cobblestone i might not have cobblestone <laughs> just because i have silk touch and everything that i mine is now stone okay so let's cra craft ourselves this oops 
Cool. So we have a lever. So that is going to be our redstone. You know, my cat is following me. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to craft myself a couple more lovers. Because we're going to need them. And I'm just going to take them upstairs and just leave them up there. Okay, cool. So you're going to go here and you... Where's this? Did I use all this stuff? I guess I did. Okay. So now we have this mana battery. Okay. I'm looking to see what exactly we need. Uh, Cal Factor, I think. I'm trying to check to see. Essence Refiner, we have an Arcane Reconstructor is what I wanted to craft to help our, our sword. So Arcane Reconstructor, which is right here. That's easy to make. I can totally make that. We have one diamond. This is our last diamond. We have the purple dye. Where's my dye? I think my dye is... Oh, wait a minute. We have some of this stuff right here. Arcane Ash. I have a lot of it. And we have a lot of Vintium dust. I need to take this upstairs with me. Ours magic, a blue topaz. You need to come with me too. What are you doing down here? You're not supposed to be down here. Okay, so where the heck... All my dye was in here. But I need to go ahead and craft myself some more purple dye. So we need a red and a lapis. So I do have red... Do I have lapis down here? I think I do have the lapis upstairs. I'm pretty sure I do. Let's go ahead, head up there, get this crafted. We're making some progress in Ars Magica. I'm excited. I've been wanting to do this. You know what? I actually am going to make a little area right here that's super duper dark. No light can get in. Oh, no, 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 no. in my cat no stupid thing okay if it wasn't so buggy and if my cat didn't glitch out it wouldn't have sucked him in he was supposed to be sitting down here <laughs> well <laughs> at least that cat didn't have a name tag <laughs> No, I can't believe that. I'm so sad. My cat is dead. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to find another kitty. I did breed that cat with Lizzie's cat. I had no idea that was gonna happen. I completely forgot. Our dark ex nexus sucks in the energy, so now actually we can go ahead and check to see how much energy we have in here. We have 1% dark energy. Like I was saying before, I'm gonna make a dark uh, little hall right here so that we can get some monsters spawning right here and they'll be sucked in. They'll be funneled in into this thing. So, I did not expect my cat to uh, get sucked into that. I'm really, really sad. So we can see, wow, there's not even a lot of energy in here. We need to get some more uh, essence pools and put it in there. And right here we have 100%. Awesome. Okay, good. Because I was going to use the light energy anyways. I'm so sad. I can't believe she died. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, kitty cat. Okay, so I do... Oh, wait, we have one purple here. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away. I don't need all of this in here. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. And I will put all of these lovers except for one away. And we'll put the Shimmerite away too. Okay, so we have some lapis. I'm so sad, my kitty's dead. So now we have two of these. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. This is all that we need, including the diamond to craft ourselves. um, this uh, arcane reconstructor. So it's really, really cool. It's going to reconstruct 
are items that need to be repaired. So, oh, I should have brought the stone up with me. Ah, oh, I need to go back down and grab the stone. I am just, I'm so sad. I should have known. Well, I guess live and learn, right? Now I know that my cats, any animal that comes up there with me is gonna die if he goes near the freaking dark nexus. You know what? Well, I'm gonna just build it out of stone. We're gonna make a dark little hallway out of this stone so we can get some dark energy in here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check up the crafting recipe. A diamond in the center. This is our last diamond, by the way, so I need to find more. And these all along the bottom. There we go. An arcane reconstructor. Perfect. So, uh, I will go ahead and craft that thing off camera so we can get some dark energy up here. But we also need the battery. And we also need our crystal wrench. So, the battery needs to be within 10 blocks of whatever nexus or... Uh, Whatever this is called. I forgot what it's called. Whatever energy is being sucked in. It needs to be at least 10 blocks. So I'm going to just go ahead and place it. Where do I want this to be? I'm going to use this for light energy. So I guess this is 10 blocks. One. We'll do it from the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we'll just go ahead and place it down right here. So then I need to go ahead and get a lever, place it right here, and I need to connect this nexus. So we're going to click right here and we're going to connect it to the battery. Awesome. So it changed color. And then we are just going to turn on the lever and it should be, there we go. You can see the energy transferring to the battery. So now the energy should be going down. Now it's at 70% because it's transferring all the energy to the battery right here. So now the battery is actually going up in percentage. Perfect. So now what I want to do is get this arcane reconstructor. I want to have it, let's have it probably, I want to have it right here. So I'm thinking maybe we can put it on a wood block. Let's go down and get some oak wood because it'll look really nice if it's just on a wood block. All right, so here's some wood and I'll put it, I'll just bring, you know what, I'll just bring some of that with us. I'll bring some oak wood because we're gonna like redecorate. I also need to make a deconstructing table. There's a lot of different things that we need to make up here that still need to be added. So uh, I guess this is probably 12%. And if we check this, is at one percent it's taken all the energy from this so now you can see that it's actually gaining particles from the light so that is good perfect let's go ahead and put this guy down right here so again i think it has to be at least 10 blocks one we'll place this right there so i think we have to connect it oh wait look it's already connecting it's already connecting itself so it's getting some light energy Perfect. And all I need to do is just go ahead and I think I may have to shift click. Or there we go, we can right click. And so right here is the GUI for this. I can place my sword in here. And I can actually up here place different foci. So the focus that I've made, um, we can put them for different benefits. So standard focus will do something different. Lesser focus will do something different as well as the mana focus. So I think some of them actually speed them up. Uh, charged focus, I think. Mana focus uses less energy and a charge focus uh, is faster. So I really don't care if it's faster. I'm really just all about conserving energy. We're about being green. So let's actually check up to see how we make the different focuses we have. So we have lesser standard greater mana charge. So the way that we make a charge is we get the standard and we put glass right here on the side. So do I have, I have a standard. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have a standard. So let's go ahead, get a standard focus. And the cool thing is, is we can put different focus in there to have different effects. So I can even do a mixture of a charge focus, which is faster and a mana focus, which is energy. So let's see. 
I have, I need to craft myself a monofocus. So if I go ahead and press G, let's go ahead and go back here. We want to make a monofocus, which is by putting the standard focus with some Vintium dust. So I'm going to have to make myself another standard focus this is with the lesser focus. So we'll grab some, a lesser focus that we have. We're going to put three foci in here. So we're going to put that in there. We have another standard focus. I'm going to put a lesser focus and two standard focus. Or wait a minute. A charged focus. Char charge focus. Okay, so we need glass. I'm going to take some glass up there. Let's just take half of this. We'll take this up. We, ha we should have all of our Ars Magica stuff upstairs. Cool. So this is really cool. I'm making progress. Okay, cool. So, uh, all right. If we go ahead and put this uh, focus right there, we will then get a charge focus. So now I have a standard focus and a charge focus. And the charge focus, like I said before, makes it faster. So let's go ahead and we're going to make it faster. We're going to put one charge focus in there. And I'm going to be energy efficient. Actually, I guess I really don't need to be energy efficient because it is the light nexus. So... Um, the light nexus actually is really easy for us to get because it just absorbs the sunlight. So um, if we go ahead and click this, this is at 5%. I guess we can just be some be energy efficient and I'm going to go ahead and use the monofocus. So let's go ahead and look up the monofocus right here. And it is the standard focus, which I just had. I'm going to need to make another one uh, covered with Vintium dust on the top and bottom. Cool. So we are going to get some Vintium dust and I'm going to just go ahead and surround this. We're just going to use our focus right here. There we go. Cool. And we'll put the focus right there to get a monofocus. Great. Cool. So we are being energy efficient. I'm going to leave this here and we're actually, I'll leave my glowstone or my redstone right here too. So we're going to go ahead and put I need to click this with an empty slot. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're going to put monofocus right there. And now we're going to just... Oh. Oh, shoot. I wonder if it just needs more energy. Let's see how much energy. Set 35%. Let's see if it will, it'll repair... Let's see if it'll repair this one. What is going on? It should be putting this inside of there. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. Let's take these out. Cool thing is, is we can swap them out whenever we want. Okay, it should totally be working. I have no idea. I'll have to double check it, but we now have a, what is it called? Arcane Reconstructor. Uh, I can also make something called an essence refiner. So well, I've talked to you guys about this, but I need another diamond. So the essence refiner can refine what essences we get our hands on. So the we're going to need more diamond and we're going to need more obsidian. So before I end this episode, I wanted to go ahead, go into the mines and uh, show you guys what the critter snares do. So let's go down to the mines because there's a lot of bats down there. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what they do. They are so cool. We need them. We need at least four bats captured inside of the critter snares to um, be able to get an owl. And in order to get an owl, we're also going to need a dog. <sighs> So I'm going to have to find myself a, a new puppy. I want at least two dogs because we're going to need... We're going to need to sacrifice some animals. That's why I had two cats because I wanted to breed them so that I can get other cats for some sacrifices. Okay, so let's see if we can hear any bats. Are there any bats around here? I hear a bat. Okay, where are you, little bat bat? Where are you? I think he was a little bit back here. Bat, where are you? Okay, so um, before I end, I want to show you guys these critter snares, and hopefully we can capture some bats 
so we can get a little bit closer to completing our goal to getting an owl. That's the end goal, is the owl. I see a bat down there. Okay, cool. So let's get this critter snares right here. And I will just get some torches out too. Alright, oh, we need to mine this chimerite. Ah, uh, I'm totally gonna have to figure out what is going on with the... Uh, what is it called? I'm gonna have to learn all the names for this. For our... Uh, Essence, no, not Essence Refiner, for our Arcane Reconstructor, because that was really important. I didn't want to lose my, I didn't want to lose my Diamond Sword, and I wanted to reconstruct it, so I need that. I gotta need it, so that we don't lose it. Okay, so let's get up. Let's get out of here. Where'd the little bat go? I can totally hear him. I'm gonna show you guys how these critter snares work. Let's go ahead and put this down right there. Hey, I'll put a couple down. See if he gets trapped in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Wait. Oh, hey, okay, look. So this one is closed compared to all of these. So we now have a little bat caught in here. We can make him, we can travel. See the little bats in there? Uh, we can go and just bring him wherever we want. So I want to bring him back to my home. We already have a little area set up for where we're planning on sacrificing our dog and creating uh, our bats. Or not our bats, our owls. You can also capture different things. It's pretty cool. You can capture slime and you can make different uh, things out of the different things that you capture. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully, let's see if we can come run into any more bats. In order to get the wolf, or in order to get the owl, oh, there's another bat over here. In order to get the owl, we're going to need four bats captured. So I'm gonna place this down. We have two. Oh, we have a lot of bats down there. <gasps> we have three. Let's put them all on the edge right here. <gasps> Navi, Navi Kitty. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she's she's crying. She's meowing. All right, so let's see if we can head down here. All the bats seem to be down there. I'll leave these critter snares up here since we have a lot. I really want to try to capture all of the bats. Uh, okay, so let's go down here. This is right. Oh, I hear a zombie. Navi, stop meowing. You're being so cute. Oh, I hear a slime also. Oh, look, there's a slime right here. Let's capture him. Let's capture the slime in our critter snare. Come on, there you go. All right, so we have a slime captured in the critter snare. And you know what, since my uh, uh, inventory, oh gosh, my cat just pressed the button. Our inventory is so full, let's actually just go ahead and put some stuff down. So we'll put this away, put these away, we'll put that away, I don't need this yet. Okay, cool. I really wanna see before we end this episode if we can capture ourselves, ourselves some bats. There's a lot of bats to be captured down here, so I did see them. They're all over there now. Let's go. Let's chase after them. Let's chase after these bats. Come on. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit this zombie too. Gonna use our more powerful attack. So it takes four or five shots. Uh. Oh, look, there's a little peck down here, too. Okay, what the heck? Come on, bats. Why are you guys down there? I want to capture you. I can! Oh, gosh, this area is so empty out here. That is weird. Where are the bats? Where did you go? I have a critter snare here. We, we can actually set up some critter snares just to capture the bats. Where did they go? They all left. Man. Well, I'm gonna- oh look, there's one down there. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick this up. We have a little bat right down there. So, let's see. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna get stuck right here. Alright, little bats. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. So, you are in just the weirdest little position. So let's see if we can actually scare him out of there. And get him out of the little- Put some of these down. Let's, let's travel over there. 
All right, so we're making our way towards this little bat. He's hanging on this wall right here. He's gonna fly away pretty soon, probably. Where are you, little bat? Oh, I see you. Okay, so let's put down a Curtis Nier. We'll put down a couple Curtis Nier's. See if uh, we we capture him. Oh, oh. Of course, he just avoids our freaking snares. Oh, oh, get it, get it, get in there. I need to capture him. I should have left some critter snares down there. You know what? Let's just dig our way down there since he seems to be stuck in this little area. And we'll collect him. If our critter snares. Oh, hey, get out of here. Get, get, get. All right, cool. So let's capture the little bat down here. There we go. So we now have two little bats in our critter snares. All I need is two more in order to get an owl. It's really cool. Okay, so I don't see any more bats down here. Um, let's head back up. How do I get back up? I think it's this way. All right, cool. I did see like three different bats, so whatevs it's cool we're gonna head back up the bats do seem to spawn a lot in the mine shaft so i can always come back down here i hear another one i hear some more bats where are you where are you i hear you i don't think it's the bats that are in my inventory that are making that noise Ooh, okay, I don't want to be pushed down. All right, so I think they are they I Don't know. I don't know where he went, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Collect our little snares here just because I can't leave them here, but I don't want to I want to just have them in my inventory just in case I find any slime or whatever um, That I want to capture we can always come back down to see if there's any more bats that have spawned We can always check over here. Oh look. There's a slime. Let's just go ahead and capture him. Oh, there's a bigger slime, so we can we can hurt him. Let's just kill him with our magic. Turn him into the smaller slimes. Uh, there we go. So now we can actually capture two slime with this. Here is one. Let's capture this little guy. Stop it. You're avoiding the snare. There you go. All right. So we have three slime actually caught, which is really, really good. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're getting places... We're going places with the witchery mod. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. We have had a pretty... Wow, this episode has gone a little over an hour. <laughs> so um, if you guys enjoy this, please let me know by leaving a like. Uh, I know it was pretty chill today. We did make some progress in Ars Magica. It is Sorcery Sunday, which I feel like... Um, it's pretty important to continue to make progress. I know I kind of just stopped doing Ars Magica. We almost were so close to being able to beat a boss, but uh, it stopped raining right when I was about to spawn him in. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please let me know by leaving a like. We actually have our butterfly encyclopedia. So next episode, I'm going to check up what we can do with that and uh, show you guys some cool stuff that we can do with that and start collecting some really, really cool butterflies. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Cupquake and I'll see you all later. Bye.